Coach White, you've been very gracious with your time. Uh, uh, you, you, you had Cordarian was a little bit dinged up, and they were going to key on stopping the run. Talk about how important it was for Johnson to have such a huge game. Well, well, first of all, it was just key to have Cordarian out there on the field. When he started running, and he, I was like, how, 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 what's your percentage? He said, Coach, I'm about 85%. I said, well, that means we two touchdowns better than they are. <laughs> just with him being 85%. We were two touchdowns better than they are. So, you know, that, that was a good thing for me, you know, just to, to have him out there and for him not to be a, a selfish player, you know, to go out there and do whatever he can to, to man, put it, you know, put the team on his back, help, because he played defense for us, then he played offense. So he was just – I'm just so grateful for that young man, I'm grateful for his family, man, and I'm, and I'm praying for his mom and, you know, make sure everything goes out for her. As well, man. Make sure this kid get everything that he deserves. Now, Baron County's going to run the wing T. They're they're really physical. You've you've played them last year, and and you've seen them all the time. Uh, but I thought really you guys took the physicality to them today. I mean, we had to. We ain't had no other choice. Like I told the kid, I said, man, let's get them out be profans because, man, you know, if you hurting, you just hurting. Can you go or can you? Because if you can't go, man, you need to quit. But if you gonna go, you might well give everything you got. This it. I know next week. So, me and the next week ain't going to be here. You know, just come on out there, continue to play football, and, man, do the best that you can because you will never forget this moment. The one thing that you can't get back is time. You can't get back time. And, like, now that this game over with, they can't come back out here and say, Let, let's play Marion County again. You got uh, – you, you shut them down in the second half. Talk about what defensive adjustments you made to shut down the wing team in the second half. That was Antoine Wellington, man. He kind of punked me a little bit. He – you know, he, he, like I said, he played linebacker for um, Notre Dame, and he still got that little built on him. So I had to, he told me during halftime, I was trying to tell him some of me. He looked at me and yelled at me, so I I just be quiet then. <laughs> I guess I can't say anything no more. So you had, you had a lot of adversity this year. And talk about what it's, I mean, I know it takes, it takes leadership from you, but talk about the leadership of your kids to pull you through a, 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 an adversity-filled year like this year. Well, they stuck with me. They stuck with me, man. When I when I came back, of course they was excited. Uh, and then, you know, of course they kids, so they tried to stray away. But then they, I had to get them back on point, and that was that was key, you know, to make sure that they stay mentally focused on everything that they need to do. And uh, man, once once they got that, man, we was we was fine, man. I mean, adversity gonna be what it is. Like I told them, life is gonna throw everything at you. Life is gonna do it, you know. So this football. I wasn't worried about them playing football. I'm so more so worried about their life. So, Coach, congratulations. Thank you for your time. Thank you.